Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another exciting daily live stream. Today, we are going to be live streaming Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble. I should really think of a better way to introduce everything than like. I feel like it's just way too many words. I feel like. I don't know. It doesn't flow well. It doesn't really get to the point. Ugh, I, I don't know. How, how about. How about, uh. How about howdy? Do people still say that? Uh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I could say, what's up, what's up, my dudes? Is, I think that's what the cool kids say, right? What's up, my dudes? What's popping? What is, what is among events which are happening, I think? I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not that great, not that great at that stuff. But what I am great at is playing Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble. So today, not only are we going to be grinding cash, we're also going to be grinding experience for a bunch of our SS ranks that we haven't leveled up yet because I am really lazy. I know you might be asking, Leafy, why are you grinding all of your SS ranks? I mean, who needs Hide a Bad Awoken? Well, in case you didn't know, SS ranks are incredibly OP for capture stages in the scramble battles, and I guarantee you, guarantee you, that we are get getting the Christmas Scramble Battle um, as one of our next events, which includes Kitokoma, by the way. And let me explain why I think this. First of all, Nanny-chan doesn't like doing more than they have to most of the time. I know that they've done some really cool events for us recently, but even those are just, you know, uh, recolored versions of other yokai, right? So, they aren't going out of their way to be like, whoa! Uh, we did 10 billion new models with Konyan and all this crazy stuff and, you know, all of that insane stuff that they did for the Puni Puni Christmas event last year, where they made, like, three new models for, uh, Jibanyan Santa, Koma Santa, and, uh, Komajiro Santa. And then, uh, they also did, you know, the new map and the new music and all of that stuff. Well, last year, it was a ton of effort to put together everything for the Wibble Wobble Christmas event, and I really appreciate it, but I think we can all agree that it didn't exactly go as planned uh, in a lot of aspects, and I know that Aini-chan was aware of that as well. So this year, since they're allowed to use Yokai Watch 3 content, <coughs> excuse me, I figure that they're just going to be like, hey, why don't we just use the Christmas event that we worked really hard on last year, instead of using a ton of resources on a Christmas event that might not even go well. <laughs> and uh, other NHN dudes are probably going to be like, yeah, that actually sounds like a great idea. Uh, so again, can't, t can't talk while playing sometimes. So that's my prediction. I think that we're totally going to get the Christmas scramble. And because of that, I want to prepare my capture teams, because I have no good capture teams, believe it or not. I have legit, like, zero good capture teams. So I gotta level up all of my SS boys, and I gotta get them to the big boy level of 50. And that way, they can actually do some nice work for me whenever, uh, whenever I send them off to battle, whenever I send them away to war. Welcome everybody that's here, I know Sponsor Fano Plays is here, Sponsor Angrio, Sponsor Nerdy, hi everybody. <laughs> the Great Blazer says, nice thumbnail, glad that you could appreciate it. It's a Photoshop from Kill a Kill, in case you didn't know. Uh, oh, god, that, okay, that, uh, that wasn't what I was planning on happening. <laughs> now, I know what you might be wondering, why are you grinding on the Schmoopy stage, even though you take a lot more damage on it? Well, ta-da, I used to have 99 burgers, but now I don't. I'm trying to max out my Schmoopy, because, like I said, if we're getting the Christmas Scramble, you know what comes with the Christmas Scramble? Kitokoma. That's right. The second Wibwob Pass Yokai and the best Pass Yokai ever created. Objectively better than Liberty Neon SS in just about every way. Objectively better than just about any other Yokai in Puni Puni in just about every way. Kitokoma grinds Y money like a champion and he sparkles like a beautiful shining star that he is, that we all are, because we're all unique. We're all wonderful, beautiful children, and uh, Kirokoma is just a little more wonderful than us. Potato Man a asks, Leafy, last night I got Mega Orignon. Is he good? Mega Orignon is incredible, and he's absolutely incredible for Kirokoma because you want that high attack stat on all your yokai, and you want that, uh, 
you want that mysterious tribe unity because Kirokoma gets a mysterious tribe unity skill. So you're going to be getting plus 20% unity just for having Oranyan M on your team, which is insane. Absolutely get Oranyan M if you can. I didn't bother getting him back in the Orange Beach event because I was like, oh, we'll never get Kirokoma. I don't need this guy. I have Blaziana Awoken. And then NHN is like, haha, just kidding, guys. You you can have Yo-Kai Watch 3 guys now. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Monster Fano plays, yeah. I don't know what they're going to localize Kira Koma as, but if I had to guess, I'd say Koma Kira, because Shura is an actual Japanese word. Kira sort of is. Kira Kira is. Um, so I have a feeling that they'll just localize it as Koma Kira. Probably. How's it going, GD Roblox Gamer? He says, I knew you were streaming. Yes, this is my favorite channel. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me, dude. Thank you to everybody coming out here today. I'm seeing a lot of my good friends like Kendall, Jody, Mel, uh, B-Man, Burrito King, Flutter Gaming. Thank you guys all for coming out. Slippery Noko. I'm liking that name. Slippery is one of my favorite tribes. Which is awesome because uh, Slippery is one of the best tribes in the game right now. The best Y money making tribe, at least. Aside from Heartful. But, you know, only, <clears throat> only people that hack. Got Liberty Nyan SS. That's just an objective fact. Robit, uh, he actually hacked into NHN and he beamed 35 Soul Secrets and 15 Liberty Nyan SS passes into his game at once. Any any video evidence that states otherwise is actually photoshopped. Every single frame was photoshopped, as was his audio. Uh, Photoshop got an audio plugin if you're really good at that stuff. He faked it all. He faked it all, dude. It's crazy. I know. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. But uh, just be aware. You might be subscribing to the fake hedgehog around here. Welcome back, Garg. It's great to see you again. Welcome, Shark, Santi, Hino's All Games. Hino's All Games says, Leafy got Twitter and followed you. I know. Did you see that I followed you back? I was like, oh, hey, Hino's All Games got Twitter. Awesome. Uh, I am on Twitter. In case you didn't know, I post my daily thoughts. I'm on there way more than I should be. That's for sure. So if you if you need a little bit of extra Leafy in your life, then uh, follow me on Twitter at 101Leafy because you'll get... Much more than a little bit extra leafy in your life. You'll get a little too much, probably. Oversaturate your life with me. I've got I've got the good meme posts. I've got uh, the anime aesthetic posts. I've got some original quality uh, content, like uh, Super Mario Odyssey screen caps, where they're they're really zoomed in and have that tunnel vision effect. I post a lot of those. So <laughs> so follow me on Twitter at 101 leafy if you like those. I don't know, I'm trying to talk as much as I can without looking back up at chat, because when I look at chat, then it's even worse than if I'm talking while grinding. It just, ah, it just doesn't go well. I hate my life. How's it going, the best binder? I never know how to pronounce that. He says, nice to see your live streams. Thanks, I think it's nice to see my live streams too. At, le at least I hope it is. I don't actually watch any of my live stream bots. Did you know that? I can't think of the last time that I did, because I don't think I ever have. It just makes me anxious. I'm like, ew, gross. Me, you know? <laughs> that random dog, yeah, I did, and I'm gonna ban you from the chat, too. Don't post leaks. It's super disrespectful to all the people behind developing the game, all the people behind marketing the game, which actually includes me. So, uh, you're kind of spitting in my face by coming into my live streams and leaking stuff and talking about them online. Uh, you're kind of invalidating that uh, a lot of effort that uh, I put in and way 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 even more effort that uh, some of my friends put into uh, doing all of this stuff so yeah just don't thanks don't talk about leaks yeah it's a really bad thing especially because uh, the person that uh, gets the leaks he does so illegally it's copyright infringement he should be sued um, and he monetizes them as well. He does it for his own personal gain, and he's super smug about it. He knows what he's doing that what he's doing is wrong. And not only does he not care, but he loves the fact that it's wrong. Ugh, absolutely disgusts me. No, Moogle Nyan, you can't Moogle Nyan goes, can we leak the stuff we know? If it were you not just listening to me? <laughs> That's the last I'll say on it. Ash, hi, Ash, what if we don't have this yokai? Is there still any method to earn money? Yes, uh, any, uh, any all attacker will work out for you. Yeah, we can use this music on Node on Node. It's only the festival music that's copyrighted. We, we got some bad boys over here. I agree, Jody. We 
yeah, it's uh, it's copyright infringement. He doesn't have access to those files, and he's taking them, and he's monetizing them. When he didn't create them, and he doesn't have permission to use them. What if I don't have an all attacker as Mulanyan? Well, you should. Uh, if you don't have Swell Terrier or Komushura, uh, then you should definitely have Chihuahua or Watermelonyan or any of those guys uh, will work out for you pretty well. Mm, some other yokai that might work well are Liberty Nyan, Liberty Nyan S. Uh, who else? <coughs> Kieran? Kieran is available in the event point shot for the Whisper, uh, the Whisper Slingshot event. And Kieran is one of the best all attackers in the game, actually. So try your best to get Kieran. Uh, there's really no excuse for not getting him since it's really just a time grind and it doesn't take all that long. Just maybe an hour at most if you're pretty low leveled for the, uh, if your Whisper's pretty low level. So absolutely go and get Kieran right now if you don't have an all attacker because he's available to everybody. Oh, and pick up a Rack Neville while you're at it, because he's fantastic for making cash as well. He's a great replacement for uh, Unpleasant, if you haven't reached him yet, or Elder Bloom if you haven't pulled Peppy on yet. So get a Rack Neville too, he's really, really good. You know, Games S. Leafy will you stream on December 1st? If you do, I sponsor. Yes, absolutely, I'll stream December 1st. Because he knows all games, you know what December 1st is. It's the launch day of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so of course I'm gonna be streaming that. I'm super, super psyched for that game. Can't wait to play it. I'll be playing it all month long in December on stream. December will be split between uh, Busters 2 and uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 mainly with a bit of Yokai Watch 2 sprinkled in throughout. So get excited for that. We're going to have a lot of Xenoblade action going on on this channel because I am so excited for that game. And I know you guys are too. I was going to say I hope you guys are too. But I know it because I did the survey and uh, everybody's super excited for me to stream it. That was by far... The most, most requested, number one, most requested game for me to stream. Yes, Mugunyan, I will stream December 5th. I stream every day in case you didn't know, or at least I try to. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely be streaming December 5th if everything goes as planned. So I'll make sure to remember to wish you a happy birthday if you come here, Mugunyan. Monster J12 Cone asks, what day do you think the Christmas event will start? December 1st, most likely. Uh, we got our Christmas event December 1st last year, if I remember correctly. And uh, Japan did as well. Uh, they got their Christmas event December 1st. So we'll probably get it December 1st or near December 1st at least. So save your Y money because you're going to need it. You act like you're selling something whenever you speak, <laughs> uh, says Emmett McDonald. That's probably just because I try really hard to project my voice. And so it sounds like I'm selling something. In reality, I just don't want really bad mic quality. Projecting is the key to not sounding like you're sitting in a really damp basement and uh, with a $2 budget mic because otherwise, so that, so like, I don't know, this is how I would normally talk. And it sounds a lot different, doesn't it? Because my mic is like a, fo a foot away from my face and I'm just kind of talking normally right now. And obviously you can tell the difference, which is uh, why I can't stream for too long because this is... This is just me talking normally, right? And it probably sounds just a little weird to you guys. Uh, probably sounds a little quiet, a little low quality, and that's why I I try to uh, refrain from talking like this. Instead, I try to project my voice, so that way you guys can hear me, that way my emotions are more apparent. I'm not just like, oh, wow, uh, Wibwobbers, 101 Leafy here, yeah, funny, funny jokes. No, Santi, no I won't, it's just getting annoying, honestly. May I ask what the thumbnail is, SLB1? Yeah, it's just from an anime I like, Kill a Kill. Uh, it's this really funny scene with one of my favorite characters, Takarada. Because he's just, he's hysterical. He ba he's basically like that kid from Advance Wars. He fights with the power of money. Welcome back, it's Komodashi. Great to see you again. Sponsor Phantom Plays asked a good question. Do you think I can be dressed up Whisper with this team? This is Sponsor Phantom Plays team. I'm going to weigh in. You guys are welcome to as well. Level 50, Sultimate 4, Shogunyan. You can't fight him with Shogunyan. Uh, level 50, Sultimate Level 2, Venoct and Cruncha. You can't fight him with Cruncha. Uh, level 42, Sultimate Level 2, Zero. Can't use Zero either. And level 42, Sultimate Level 1, Beetle. Well, first and foremost, four out of five of those yokai aren't even usable against Dressed Up Whisper. You can only fight him using Mysterious, Heartful, uh, Mysterious, Heartful, Huff. And I'm trying to remember the last one. Uh, slippery yokai. Brave, are, brave yokai are not allowed. Sorry, tough luck. 
Uh, second, Beetle is just garbage. Do not use him, please, for the love of God. Use Lionheart instead. Your your team will be so much better. You'll have so much so much of an easier time clearing stages if you swap swap out Beetle for the wonderful Lionheart. Uh, as a bonus, Lionheart's ultimate level is super easy to grind. So if you ever feel like you're lacking firepower on your stage clearing team, uh, grind up a couple more Lionheart, raise up that soul ultimate level, and you might be good to go. Hopefully that helped out Sponsor Fano Plays. Let me know what your new team is after you uh, reconfigure it with tribe restrictions in key. In key. That's not really a not really a phrase, is it? In mind is what I meant to say, because tribe restrictions are key. Is you know, is what I said in my mind, and then my mouth was just kinda like, eh, what if we didn't? That would be that would be really fun. And I'm like, no, it, it wouldn't, but it, it kinda happened anyway. It's for a new Wiwa player, asked Van O'Donnell. Are you the one that DM'd me on Discord and then I forgot to respond to them? Uh, if so, I'm really sorry. I meant to, and then I just kind of forgot because I took a nap, and it just happened. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, anyway, tip for a wi new Wibwa player, uh, start immediately because they're about to end the new player campaign. The new player campaign gives you 10 free rolls as soon as you start the game, which is insane for a gacha game. Uh, it's perfect for reset marathons. So what you do is, you start a new file, you go through the tutorial, and you uh, you play until you get your rolls. Then once you can do your rolls in the Crank Akai, you do, uh, you do all of them. And once you do them, if you got anybody good, which would be an SS rank, preferably Robunyan 3000 or uh, Pink Emperor or uh, any of the other big bosses that they might feel like slipping into the Crank, usually they rotate between those two, then absolutely uh, keep your file. And if you didn't get either of those, if you didn't get any good SS ranks, then just delete your file, make a new one, blaze through the tutorial in 15-20 minutes, and re-roll. It's a really, really good strategy that'll help you get started for sure. Uh, you'll notice a lot of people in the chat complaining, Hey, Leafy, I don't have any good yokai. Well, you won't be saying any of that. Sponsor Fanal Play is saying, I got Kabukiroid on my second account from the user campaign. That's fantastic. It's incredible. Zach asks, why are you using Hino's All Awoken on your team? Oh, Zach, you didn't hear? There's a glitch with Hino's All Awoken. When you use this ultimate move, it actually adds an extra zero to the end, and you end up doing around 150 billion trillion damage. No, I'm just joking. I'm leveling up Hino's All Awoken for the hopefully incoming Christmas Scramble battle in a couple of weeks. Yeah, G-Man, I bamboozled you right there. It means that Leafy lied. Sponsor Angrio asks, can you do a Top 5 Kingdoms in Odyssey video? That's not really my style. Sorry, Sponsor Angrio. If you don't, you have X-Borbs, asked Liam Bauer. No, I used them all, sorry. Oh, wow. Puni 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 got uh, Gmon Hotten. Oh, wow. I'm really... I'm really jealous of that, actually. He's incredible, in case you didn't know. He is a 10-second defense and attack upper. It means he's incredibly mercurial. He's incredibly slippery. Uh, it, it's, it's a funny joke, because he's a slippery yokai. He's a recolor. Not a recolor, but an American version of Slurpent, rather. He, he fits on just about any team, any application. Score attack, impossible stage, you name it. And he's fantastic on it. I legitimately can't think of a single occasion outside of maybe collecting stars, and even then he's really useful for that defense up and the attack up for clearing up the stage. Uh, there's no situation where Demon Hot Ton isn't going to be useful to you. So absolutely try going for him if you're a Puni player, because right now, there is an incredible raid up on him. I don't know what's the deal with the recent Puni Puni raid ups, but they are insane. Nothing like what Wibwab gets. Literally, one in 20 pulls is going to get you um, a pass on average. So absolutely go for it. Uh, I've seen a lot of roll uh, demonstrations on Puni Puni Yokaipedia, similar websites and YouTube channels, saying, hey, in 30 cranks, I got two passes, three passes, and just 30 cranks. Oh my god. This is insane. So since we have this ultra raid up at the end of the Enma Budokai event right now, uh, or rather Extreme Yokai Budokai, definitely try and go for Demon Hatton if you haven't already. Because he's super good, you're gonna want him. If you don't get him now, you'll regret not getting him, trust me. Man, it sure would be nice to get a Liberty Neon SS pass every 90k, huh? Welcome, Protofire, always great to see you. Uh, hang on, I see what you're saying, Ace. I wanna address it because it seems like it's good advice for people. Oh, crap! I don't have my Blaziana! Uh, 
Oh no. Nani. Ah, that's really bad. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Go Yokai Golden Toad SS. We definitely could use Liberty Neon back. But here's the thing. If we're getting Kirakoma, who cares about Liberty Neon SS? Liberty Neon SS is so bad compared to Kirakoma because they, uh, they gave him a much, much, much lower combo generation stat, which is the biggest part of uh, a Tracer's viability. So for those who don't know, Tracers have a hidden combo generation stat, and uh, basically we don't know too much about it. We just know, hey, when I uh, scribble this much with a certain Tracer, it gets me this much combo. And if I scribble this much with a, a separate Tracer, it gets me a lot more or a lot less combos. So, uh, certain yokai combo more when they, uh, use their Tracer's ultimate. And the combos in Fever Time get you so, so much damage. That's where the majority of your extra Fever Time damage comes from, uh, aside from the extra flat 10%. So, since Tracers generate a ton of combos, and Fever Time greatly multiplies the damage multiplier that, uh, you get from having a high combo, well... Tracers are going to deal a crap ton of damage in Fever Time because they generate combos, and therefore, you want a Tracer with a high hidden combo stat. Unfortunately, Liberty Neon SS has by far the lowest hidden combo stat in the entire game, with Kirakoma having by and far the highest. So Kirakoma uh, reigns supreme, I believe. It says, Sue's the Puni that is on a fish that is an all attacker. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. But there's a Puni on a turtle that's an all attacker, Darwin, and he's their best one. Answer Angrio, I like your, your Whisper Nani emote. Otohime? Otohime isn't on a fish, though. He's not on a fish. Yeah, Golden Toe knows what he's talking about. Never use Slurpent with a Tracer, just don't. It, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> she's an American legend, says Ace. Uh, that's not a she, and that's not a fish, that's a tortoise, and it's a, uh, it's not a turtle, it's a tortoise, and it's a dude, it's an old dude. <laughs> Otohime is an American legend, though. Oh, it's an angler fish, says Zach. Okay, alright, I guess you can make that argument. How's it going, Dark Didem Music? Great to see you. I wonder when Sun God Enma is coming, S Manual. Considering that we've gotten Yokai Watch 3 stuff without getting Yokai Watch Buster. Okay, here's what really gets me heated. Here's what gets me steaming. We've gotten all of the Yokai Watch Busters content we could get, uh, including the Moon Rabbit Team content outside of Lord Enma and Nurali Hyun, I guess. But he he's crap. Uh, no one cares about him. So. <laughs> Just give us Enma already, NHN. Just just slap him in a coin, give him out in some missions. I don't care. That's what you did in Boonie Boonie. Let us scan some medals. I don't know. That's a funny joke. Medals in America. But seriously, just like put him in an event mission or something. <laughs> I know I'm kind of being a hypocrite because I'm always like, haha, Usopion sucks. But Enma is like genuinely pretty good. He's an all popper. And, uh, Enma Tribe is generally allowed on, uh, tribe-restricted things. So, it would just be nice to have him. It would just be nice to have him, because he is quite useful in an offensive stage-clearing team. Uh, he deals quite a bit of damage. Oh, crap, I accidentally killed Spoopy. I'm so sorry. At Pika TV, the, uh... The, uh, whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, duh, Darwin's a great legend, not American legend. But I never said Darwin's American legend. They did. Uh, I just assumed that they were talking about him from the way they were describing him. Sponsor Angrio said, I completed my homework early today and I'm proud. Congratulations, Sponsor Angrio. I'm proud of you too. Good work. One one Leafy, do not get Poonie, says the best vendor. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I think that's the first time somebody said that to me. Do not get Poonie. 
I just don't have the time to play it with all the time I put into Wibwob already. Plus, Wibwob has a certain charm to it that Poonie doesn't. It's hard to describe. Oh, I didn't think I'd kill him there. Oh. Is Wibwob an infinite game as Kaiju? Yeah, it is. It's pretty infinite. It never runs out. How's it going, Sponsor Angry? Ace asked, was the dude with the city on him that looks like Serpent? We were talking about him earlier. Uh, Devon Hatan is, uh, he's pretty cool. Panda Pow asked, Leafy, what do you think the next event will be? Nobody heard that. Uh, I think that the next event is going to have some sort of Mega Yokai, because lately we've been alternating between events with Mega Yokai and events without them. So, uh, if I had to make a guess as to something in the next event, I'd say Mega Yokai are a guarantee. Are a guarantee, not a guarantee. Outside of that, I would love to see uh, racing come to Wibwob. They've barely done anything with racing in Poonie, so it would be kind of neat to see that in Wibwob at least. Uh, I would love to see the Final Fantasy event come to us at some point. Uh, that would be really fun. You can get some really cool stuff from that. You can get uh, Edison and Platinum Oni and all sorts of crazy stuff. So, if we could get. The Final Fantasy events, that would be super fun. What would you guys like to see? If you had to request an event, what would you request? I would request the Inazuma one. And we're going to do that later on. We are sending out, we are deploying Wave 2 of Operation Inazuma Here We Go. Operation, please let us play Inazuma 11. <clears throat> you need a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure event, says Protofire. Haven't you seen, uh... Dressed up whispers, uh, <laughs> uh, dance? I don't really know what to call it. They call them dances. Ah, I keep killing the Shmoopy! I'm so mad right now. And if I was says Chocobo Nyan would fit in with Thanksgiving, that's a little morbid, don't you think? <laughs> Zach Poonie didn't get last Shogunyan during the Whisper of Hajiki. Poonie got last Shogunyan in like July. <laughs> Now, was Last Shogunyan in the crank during the Whisper of Hajiki? Probably, I believe he was. That would have been nice if they, they kept that. We're trying to level our Shmoopy in preparation for Kirakoma, for those who don't know. Because hopefully, we should be getting him in a couple of weeks. And if I get a Kirakoma pass and I don't befriend him, you have no idea. How much I will just genuinely rage. I will snap my tablet in two. I'll end the stream and I'll just start crying. Just be like, leave me alone. And I'll never stream for like another week. Probably. I don't know. I might just go back at it. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, a crossover event would be fun, Flutter Gaming. Sunsupo says racing is gross. I've never heard from somebody that's played the racing, actually. Uh, it was so early on in Poonie's lifespan that uh, people have barely played it, at least the people that I know. Because they got one eight months in, and then they got one 13 months in, I believe, are the time frames for those. Yeah, eight months and 13 months. And then after that, they've never done a third racing event, as far as I know. Just the Chocobo Nyan and the uh, Tom Nyan ones. No, not Tom Nyan. Uh, yeah, uh, no, it was a Tom Nyan slingshot. And then, was Android Yamada the one that was the racing event? I think it was. Or no, I think it was, I think it was in reverse. Kapow! Okay, cool, we got it. How do you be dressed up Whisper, asked Adrian Donovan. Adrian, if you don't have Swash, Josper, and possibly Horn of Plenty, then you are donezo. You can't get him, honestly. I know some people are going to be like, Yeah, but Leafy, if you have these yokai... Okay, if somebody's asking how do you defeat Dressed Up Whisper, they don't have these yokai. <laughs> you don't have the yokai you're going to list. They don't have Sultimate 7, Robonyon 3000, okay? So, for these people... Which includes me. I don't have a Soul Ultimate 7, Rolling on 3000, or Melanion M. I had to level mine up. Uh, you need Swash and Horn of Plenty and Joe Spur and all that. Uh, okay. Hey, 
There we go. What about racing, asked Victini? Yeah, I was just talking about that. It was an old Poonie event, for those who don't know. Uh, I don't know too much about it, because I never played it myself. But it was a really cool new game mode. And I guess people just didn't like it very much. Either that, or it was fairly expensive to produce an event for. Because they've only done it twice, and one was a special occasion, because it was a, uh... Uh, it was a crossover with Final Fantasy. And they always go all out for the crossovers. Protofire, his dance is his, uh, winning animation. See how they have the little dances at the end here? Dressed Up Whisper does a JoJo pose. He does the one that, uh, Junko does in J Ding and Rampa. <laughs> E-Champ asks, does anyone know what the hot prize was for the first Budokai? Yeah, it was Sun God Enma. Uh, after Sun God Enma was, uh... Darkness Enma, and after Darkness Enma was Time Space Enma, I believe, was the order. But I think that the first Budokai was Sun God Enma. Sleepy, I'm doing my homework, says Garg. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're still able to watch, but, you know, if you need to stop watching and watch the VOD later on instead to focus on your homework, I totally get that. Don't worry. All right, here's Kirokoma and Puni Puni at Sly Gamer. He's actually fairly easy to get whenever he's in the crank. Puni has very generous rates compared to Wibwob, which makes zero, zero sense. No, Gamer Zinc. <clears throat> I know Awoken wasn't the reward for the first Budokai, was he? I knew... <sighs> I knew you could, like, get his passes from the Budokai, I believe, but I'm pretty sure that Enma Awoken was strictly a pass yokai, right? Now, I could be wrong, and honestly, I think it's really possible that I am, but I honestly thought that Enma Awoken was only a pass yokai. Best finder asks, Leafy, do you think you could do streams where you would fill your Wi-Fi team with bad yokai to give us points with your high rank? Why would I do that? First of all, that's sacrificing the integrity of the ranking system. Second of all, that's throwing away hours upon hours upon hours that I spent grinding points. Do you realize how, like, awful it is to grind points at that rank? And third, you know, if I have to earn my points and everybody else does, then you guys do too. Absolutely not. What am I doing? Why did I see what happens when I talk too much? I forgot that I was... I forgot that I had to charge my Sultimates. And Mo Woken was on the third seal, says uh, Liam Bauer. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you were joking! Is this finder? Oh my god. Honestly. <laughs> See, that's really funny when I know that you're joking. But the thing is that people will sincerely say stuff like that. <laughs> oh my god, that's hysterical. Like, people will literally be like, like, I'll raise an entire team on stream, and then people will be like, hey, Leafy, can I have your Gargaros? Like, unironically. Oh my god, that, that's actually really funny. I got bamboozled. What can I say? I was bamboozled. <laughs> uh, look, Leafy, there's the camera. Okay, girl, yeah, I, I already said that I'd be happy to do more Kahoot live streams because it's just flat out fun, but you gotta link the good Kahoots to do. If I don't have any Kahoots to play, we can't play Kahoot. Uh, okay. Hey, Fennekin Smith, it's great to see you. Yes, of course I'm aware of Jumbelina's ability. I've experimented with, or rather, skill. Fennekin said ability, but the correct terminology is skill. Uh, on Yokai Watch 2, in case you didn't know, Jumbelina has the unique skill uh, that jumbles up both players' Yokai lineups uh, on their Yokai wheel. So you never know what order e either player's Yokai are going to be in. So it's, uh, it's a double edged sword for sure. Uh, on one hand, did I really only inflate Whisper there? That's super weird. On one hand, yeah. You're jumbling up your opponent's yokai. On the other hand, well, you're jumbling up your yokai too, so... It's not exactly all all bonuses for you. But yeah, you can totally make a good cheese team with that. 
something pretty silly for sure. I know Goldever likes to use her a lot more than I do. Evie, do you think Orkanos or Gargaros is better as V-Champ? Always great to see you, V-Champ. I know I already said hi already. Uh, and I believe that Gargaros is better. Just like flat out more... Oh, wow. Okay, he is... Oh, wow. He, he exists and my opponent is using him. This is so much fun. I feel like Gargaros is a lot more of that. But they, they both fulfill completely separate roles. Orkanos is an insane tank. Gargaros is an insane attacker, and they're both fantastic additions to your team. Yes, Protofire Gaming, I do have uh, Dressed Up Whisper right now. He's right here. Uh, he's doing his thing on my Yokai Medallion. I just don't have him. Uh, I don't have him set up yet. I don't have him soul secreted, rather. Welcome, sponsor Felt Manor. Always great to see you as well. <laughs> yeah, Zach goes, Ogreless is like, remember me, guys? <laughs> Of course I remember the water attribute spellcaster. Sure, dude. At least he has water play. He has that going for him. Lord Blaze asks Leafy, if you get a Keto Como, will you do a face reveal? Why? You're saying Leafy, if you do something that you're obviously going to try as hard as you can to do and you really want to do, will you do something that has zero purpose and that you don't want to do at all? Why? How about Leafy, if I pay you $500, will you do a face reveal? Then I'd be like, absolutely. If you pay me $500, I'll do two face reveals. I'll, I'll reveal my front face and I'll also show you the back of my head. <laughs> well, if you're like Leafy, if you do something that you really want to do, Leafy, if you eat breakfast tomorrow, will you do a face reveal? I, 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 I don't think that's how any of this works. <laughs> yes, Santi, really, if you pay me $500. <laughs> uh, there's little I wouldn't do for $500, let's be honest. You know, there's little I wouldn't do for $20. But, uh, face reveal goes on the wouldn't do for $20 list. Luigi's Nair, okay. I'll be keeping an eye out for Orange Breakfast Dude or whatever your computer account name is. I'll, I'll remember it when I see it. You got Lava Lord, a rare spawn. Why did you reset? Asked the best vendor. Uh, because Lava Lord is tough, which means that uh, we're actually. Oh my god! I hate my life. Which means that we're actually going to deal less damage to him, while uh, Schmoopy we deal more damage to. So it would actually be a 30% damage difference, which is massive. Because I believe tribe advantage is uh, 15%. Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, I I'm trying to recruit Schmoopy. I want to max out my Schmoopy. I don't care about Lava Lord. He's a C rank tough <laughs> attack upper. When we have enough tough attack uppers in this game. Blaze. Blaze. Okay, let's burger them before we forget. Welcome, Turtle Boss. Great to see you. Oh man, Chase reports back. He says, Leafy, I think the ant isn't going anywhere. Did you try the compressed air? Did you try the compressed air? Come on. Death Madness says, if I get a Visa card for Christmas, I'm immediately sponsoring. I would be honored, Death Madness. It's always great to have you here for the streams. You are, you are a retro supporter, that's for sure. You've been around here since the Abdallah days, haven't you? You're pretty retro, that's for sure. Some people are like, oh, I'm a 90s kid. I'm retro. But if you're like, oh, yeah, I've been around here since the Venoct Awoken stream days. When Venoct Awoken was the most exciting thing to hit Wibwob. I've been around here since then. And they'll be like, what? I thought Mimikin A was the most exciting thing to hit Wibwob. <laughs> I thought I thought Blazion Awoken being in the Crankakai, but purposefully obscured by a crap ton of other yokai nobody wants, including a D-Rank. Was the most exciting thing to hit with Blob over the Hino's All Awoken event. Yeah, Protofire Gaming, don't worry. Protofire requests that I use Dressed Up Whisper. Normally, I don't take requests like that because it would impede on what I'm doing. But I'm actually leveling up my SS ranks right now. And Dressed Up Whisper, only level 30. So we're going to level him up after Hino's All Awoken just for you, Protofire. If you guys have any SS ranks that you want to see in action, I'm probably going to do uh, Pink Emperor after Dressed Up Whisper. Feel free to request them, I guess. 
<laughs> Zach says, I'm so retro, I remember when they introduced the Aiden Circle. That's retro. Oh boy. That was when my content was made in the articles. What Mega Yokai do you think we might get next, that's Death Madness? Probably a base big boss and uh, a fruit yawn. <laughs> I don't think it's too much of a stretch to predict that. Personally, I would like Mega Watermelon Yawn. Uh, and I would like, who's my favorite big boss? Probably, hmm, I think Mega Robo Yawn 28 would be cool. I think that he needs another chance, don't you think? Especially since we already have four tough, uh, three tough SS ranks. I think that, uh, getting a fourth would be absolutely insane. Or a Slippery. Do we have a Slippery one? Uh, do we? Wismel Man. But we already got Mega Wismel Man. What am I talking about? Uh, oh, you know what would be cool? Mega Tattle Terror. Give us Mega Tattle Terror, and hopefully she'll do something cool with Kirokoma. Uh, like a, I don't know, a score upper or something. Or give us Mega Robonyon 28 and make him not a ball popper. They'll probably make him Columbus, honestly, which I wouldn't be too upset about because that would at least sort of redeem him in the ball popping factor. But yeah, definitely uh, Watermelon Yon is my most wanted Mega Fruit Yon. What do you guys think? Mega Prison Breaker! Sponsor J12Pwn knows where it's at. Absolutely, I completely forgot about him. He's definitely my favorite big boss. For sure. If we get uh, Mega Prison Breaker, I'll flip out. Because Eerie, ne Eerie needs someone good. What the heck? Literally, like, the first good Eerie yokai to hit Puni Puni is Extreme Orochi. I wish I was kidding. I think the last good Eerie yokai to release in Puni, which gets way more yokai than we do, was still Arachnus Awoken, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm racking my brain right now, and I can't think of a single good, like, legitimately usable Eerie yokai Puni Puni has gotten that wasn't Extreme Orochi or uh, Arachnus Awoken, and I just can't think of it. Does anybody know of, like, a good Eerie Yokai? It's like S or SS rank? Preferably the latter? I guess, uh... I guess Seshomaru Awoken was really good. I take it back. Uni got Seshomaru Awoken, but Wibwab will never get that. So that's kind of out of the question for us. Mega, um... Mega Ruby's J would be kind of cool, for sure. We need Mega Mimikin and Mega Pandal. I totally agree, Shuckle King. You you always have good taste, Shuckle King. Mega Mega Mimikin, yes please. But unironically, unlike everybody else saying it ironically, because Mimikin is actually one of my favorite yokai designs. He's just really bad. If they made a good Mimikin, oh my god. You have no idea how much I'd flip out. Mega Madaman would be awesome in Sponsor Felt Manor, but we don't even have normal Madaman. If we got an extra uh befriend a boss event. Where we got like a bunch of befriendable bosses that are uh, SS rank. That would be really cool. Mimicking good? Nice joke. Welcome, sponsor. Not sponsor, but moderator Trev. Always great to see you. The advent of Hinozal. More like the advent of. Oh, a surprisingly good dumb name. <laughs> but that's only because Hino made it himself. Can we just have Hino get better at English so that he can localize all of the names? That would be really nice. <laughs> that would be really nice. Yes, yeah, Sponsor Felt Manor, that's true. They made Hansful befriendable and Puni, so anything's possible. That's exactly why I think it's possible, in fact. Death Bandit says, Sleepy, are you not? Oh, are you streaming tomorrow? Yeah, I try to stream every day. So, uh, unless something goes wrong, I will be streaming every day. Homoshuda or Kieran asks uh, Ace. Uh, I think I think Kieran is better, but uh, Mega Orinyang kind of smooths things out a bit. But Kieran is still a lot better, for sure. All right, let's burger him up. Oh, congratulations, Red Slime Brian! You got uh, Horn of Plenty out of the Crank Kai. He's really good. Ooh, Fennekin Smith, you are pretty retro. Lucky Crankakai. I know you started coming a lot more when the uh, Yokai Watch 2 stream started as well, but you you definitely came from back then. 
Is Hino a real person, asked Lord Blaze. Yes! In case you didn't know, Hino's all is uh, directly based on the actual CEO of Level 5, the developers of Yokai Watch, and he conceptualized and uh, basically created Yokai Watch himself. Uh, so that's that's why Hino's all is so cool. He is he is the creator of Yokai Watch. He's he's like the god basically in the game. It's really cool. Hence Hino's all suggesting omnipotence. Uh, or his original name, Hinoshin, literally like Hino the God. I mean, it's it's a pun depending on how you look at it, but that's that's like the the main meaning. Blaze, Blaze. Ugh, Flutter Gaming, that's brutal. Flutter goes, I got a Rack Neville with my points from the event, and then I got him out of the crank right after. Uh. Well, at least you got him to Soul Ultimate too, which is nice. Free Soul Secrets, hey. You should be uh, Soul Secreting him anyway. That's it. We had Cat Cradle, what would he get? S. Advil. Hey, it's great to see you, Bill. Uh, in case you didn't know, Cat Cradle is actually a dude, not a girl. Uh, and personally, I think that you would have all attack and fever gauge bonus. Totally. That would be kind of cool. Uh, fever gauge bonus not being the Toribia one, but uh, the... Uh, Kaito Kid one, where it slows down your fever gauge. That would be really cool. That's definitely the ultimate how good Cat Cradle. Why? I don't know. It'll be neat. I mean, he, he doesn't all attack in the main games, so might as well give him a cooler one. Uh, Alright, we'll do that too. I'm missing some Slurpent, but we can still get some good, uh, good cash out of this. Jody says, I've been here since the legendary Mayo vs. Ketchup Splatfest, so not very long. Really? Are you serious, Jody? I thought you were around here for much longer than that. But it's, it feels like so, so long since summer. Where, where have the days gone, dude? Freaking me out. <laughs> Stop, Zach. Zach asks, <laughs> can we get a mega superhero called Poor Waji? <laughs> that's actually a really good one, Zach. I think that's one of your better puns. Well, that's not saying much, honestly. Chuckle King asks, remember last year's Thanksgiving coin event? Chuckle King, you're digging up the memories that were buried. Don't do that. The baby, the baby. Victini, I haven't answered your question yet, so, uh, feel free to ask it again. Lucario Kid, uh, you are pretty retro. <laughs> yeah, Mel, I remember you saying that before. Uh, you've been here since ARMS, but you didn't chat until a lot later. Oh my god, Orange Juice, are you okay? He says, when you smash your finger with a hammer while smashing your old phone, I am a sad boy, I keep on saying this, but still. Alright, so I was sad for you until you mentioned that you were smashing your phone with a hammer. Uh, honestly, I think that we need to quote our good friend Ike from Fire Emblem here. You'll get no sympathy from me. <laughs> if you're smashing glass with a hammer, then... I'm not saying you deserve to get hurt, but you should really go into that expecting to get hurt. And fully, just, not just prepared, but... You know, you've sort of reconciled with the fact that you're going to get hurt, you know? Definitely. Yeah, exactly, Jody. YouTube recommendations suck, so when you got the recommendation for a stream, for a game that you actually like, you were like, whoa, who dis? That's why you guys gotta like the streams, because it actually really helps. That's what, uh, literally like 50% or whatever, uh, I'll have to check my stats again, of the people that watch my stuff, do so through recommended videos. So if you like the streams, if you use the share button, if you uh, leave a comment, if you do any of that stuff, then that makes my videos get recommended over other people or my older videos that are, are, aren't as relevant. So please, it doesn't cost anything. Just click little thumbs up and it helps out a lot. I don't like to aggressively push it throughout the streams, 
but uh, I do like to remind people like once or twice because honestly I always like doing it and sometimes I just flat out forget and if I'm watching someone and they remind me to I'm like oh yeah I should probably do that shouldn't I but I guess you get a different perspective on it once you start doing your own YouTube stuff huh hmm Mega Melon- Watermelon Yon, sorry. Mega Watermelon Yon could be a Tracer, and, uh, his Tracer could be a Watermelon. He could be stronger than Kirokoma, says Lord Blaze. That sounds like a disaster, someone stronger than Kirokoma. But I wouldn't oppose it. It would just be a disaster for any chat. Uh, I think that we need a Black Hole Maker. That would be kind of cool. We could get one like Dark Senma. I want a Slasher, too. A Slasher would be really sick. Okay, what's going on with just this total lack of fever gauge? Zoom! Okay, cool. Oh, thank you so much, Death Madness. He says, I always tell my cousins about you. Thank you. Oh, Mel, that's actually really funny. He says, I watched your Thunder Bike Ganon video way back when, but I didn't realize it was yours until recently. Yeah, that, that video, like, has surprisingly consistent views. Makes you regret not doing other boss guide videos, but uh, some stuff got in the way of that, unfortunately. I really should have, though, seeing how well they performed. Nice! Okay, cool. Yeah, I did the dodge roll off ledges thing with the, uh, uh, Julius, too. That was a fun video. Oh, god. Okay, good. Hey, Go, great to see you. I want a Dogu equivalent. Heck yes, please. All right, all right. So, Dogu, right? Dogu. Dogu. Mega Doggy Nyan. Slam. There you go. Mega Doggy Nyan is going to be our Dogu Shako equivalent. That, that's all you need. That's all you need to know. Please. He even asked his PayPal work for sponsoring. I think they might have added that recently. You can always give it a shot. The link in the is in the description if you want to try. Hunter Feltmanner says, Extreme Venoct is too edgy for me. He was already edgy in his normal form. No, the Extreme Yokai are so cool. They're really, really cool. Alex asks, I love Yokai Watch, but don't we kill too many Yokai during it? Look, Alex. You can't kill something if it's already dead. It's, uh, it's an easy way of... Pretending to have morals in this game. Yeah, Prison Breaker M as the Dogu equivalent. That's a really good suggestion, sponsor J12 Clone. Because uh Eerie Eerie needs that. Okay, go, go. Now that you're here, you play Puni more, so you're probably more familiar with like all of the good yokai. Like I know everybody good in Puni, but sometimes I kinda blank on a couple of people, right? And we were trying to think what good eerie yokai are in Puni outside of Extreme Venoct? And then all the way back with uh, Arachnus Awoken, if that even counts, and uh, Prison Breaker. Like, did they even make anybody else usable? Hey, thank you so much, Gatsu. The the volume's off. Uh, do 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 Gatsu. Yay, gamers! Thanks so much for the super generous five dollar donation. You deserve the sleepy. I've always enjoyed the, your streams and can't wait for for more. Good luck to you and the crank. Thank you so much, gamers. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so kind of you. Are you farming Y money? Yes, Alec. Because you need Y money. <laughs> you, you, you need it. Yes. So I did mention Turtle Crotch, and I did mention uh, I mentioned Sesho Maru. Well, I I thought of Turtle Crotch, but I forgot to mention him uh, when I said Sesho Maru as well. So I thought of Sesho Maru Awoken and him, and then I don't know who Yumejira Sensei is, but I'm guessing he's from the uh, uh, one of the manga events as well. But yeah, I knew I knew of those two. Who's you made you last sensei though? I'm trying to think and I can't remember. And then Puni uh it's not Puni, but Eerie got a uh Luminoko. So I guess I guess that counts. At least I think he's Eerie. So I'd kinda say that that's good. Ish. Oh yeah, there's the Black Watch! He's uh the Black Watch is Eerie, isn't he? And he's incredible. And then, uh, Batanku. So, yeah, that's actually 
Yuri got some good stuff this year, didn't it? Huh. Forgot about the Black Watch being eerie. Because I always feel like the Black Watch should be shady, you know? But he should totally be eerie because Yuri needs that. And Eerie gets the Black Watch, uh, the actual, like, Kuroi Watch Watch, which is good. Yeah, definitely, uh, I guess Eerie does have some good stuff to work with now. But Tonkyu is insane. I, I love him. I think he's really cool. For those who don't know, but Tonkyu is an Eerie, uh, I don't think he's a legend, but he's, he's, like, super rare-ish. Uh, he's some sort of special thing in Yokai Watch 3 that I don't know because of spoilers. And, uh, he literally has 999 HP in Puni. Yeah, 999 HP. And, uh, his skill is semi-unique. He only shares it with a single SSS rank, uh, Darkness God Enma. He will revive you with 50 HP. Oh, and I guess Hino Tori has that now, huh? Uh, he will revive you with 50 HP when you die. And it only activates once, I think. So if you put all three of them on your team, it'll still only activate once, I believe. Or else that would be super OP. Fever time, y'all. Darius asks Leafy, what are your top three yokai that you want to come to Wibble Wobble? I really, really want uh, Chocobo Nyan and Moogle Nyan just because uh, they have really good events with them and they're adorable. And c come on, who doesn't want Chocobo Nyan in your game? Uh, but in terms of yokai that I'll like actually use because they're actually good, I would say Kirokoma number one, of course. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> any of the, any of the Enma, Big Daddy Enma, Enma Awoken, uh, Sun God Enma would be really cool. I should probably do an actual top three, shouldn't I, gamers? So I will say Sun God Enma, Hirokoma, and Enma Awoken are my top three. Yeah, Kudoli Watch would be cool too, Goat. I agree. Kudoli Watch would be nice. Me Mega Takantetsu, if that counts. <laughs> I want to be sponsored Jody, says Jody. Go for it, dude. I, I might be a little biased, but I think that's a good idea. Only just a little biased, though. Oh, yeah! Sponsored Age Welcome, that's right. Fubuki Awoken. I kind of I kind of forget that I want him, because it might not happen. But definitely my number one most wanted is Fubuki Awoken. So, uh, Fubuki Shiro, not Fubuki Hime. So, my top three is now... Enma, uh, it's now Fubuki Awoken, Sun God Enma, and Enma Awoken. Benkin, of course, always happy to rate your current team in Yokai Watch 2. Just give me a second. Uh, Stealth Soul Sproink. Ooh, interesting. Uh, oh, no, wait, Elder Bloom with Stealth Soul. Uh, Sproink with Guarding Soul. I was like, that's an interesting choice. I'll see where this goes. That makes a lot more sense. Sproink with Guarding Soul, uh, Shadow Venox, Cursed Sword, really? Sergeant Burley, uh, with Smog Mellow Soul, Macho Nyan with Stinging Soul, and Snoddle with the Speed Soul. Explain Shadow Venox on the Cursed Sword, The Shadow Venox is a healer. A normal Venox with Cursed Sword, that's really good. Normal Venox is, uh, pretty solid. Are you gonna beat Blaster Solo as, uh, Alec? Uh, yeah, I will. I'm not really a multiplayer kind of guy. I guess I'll play with you guys on stream sometimes, but, uh, I'm gonna mainly want to experience it by myself. Okay. Hmm. That's it, that's it, that's it. So guys, uh, no notice someone posting something in the chat. Thanks, uh, sponsor J12Cone and moderator J12Cone for deleting that. If somebody ever posts a suspicious message entirely in Russian, uh, with a bunch of emoji and an arrow emoji pointing to a URL that you've never seen that ends in .ru, and the URL heavily suggests that it's a piracy-related site, my, uh, my virus detectors, uh, sensors kind of tingle at that. So maybe don't click that. Just, just a general warning, maybe don't click that, because there is at least a 1% chance that that's going to give your computer an extremely bad virus. <laughs> maybe.
maybe don't click the suspicious Russian links. <laughs> yeah, emoji next to the suspicious Russian links are never a good sign, because it shows that they're trying to appeal to the Commonwealth. I think an S would Stealth Soul Shogunyan be good? Uh, honestly, I don't think so. But you can try it out. Oh, you wanted to use Shadow Vanox for the stealth, huh? Well, you could use Blandin. <laughs> Blandin would get the job done. I don't think you have two A ranks. You only have Machonyan, right? You could do uh, Null. Null would get the job done, too. Yup, Filthy Go, even in Puni, Eerie only has three boosters. Prison Breaker, Papa Windbag, and the a rank Dracula guy. I know exactly who you're talking about. I can't remember his name either. Will there ever be another chance for Hinozal as Ace? Every, like, six months or something, Hinozal comes back into the Crank Akai. For the event Crank. Sons of Felt Manor, current favorite Switch game is uh, Super Mario Odyssey, of course. Bill asks if we got another SSUSA exclusive pass, Yokai. So besides uh, Liberty Nyan SS, what event would it be? Well, it's probably just going to be another Fruit Nyan because all of the Fruit Nyan are USA exclusive SS rank pass, Yokai. Uh, so probably, I don't know, Water Melnyan is my most wanted one because he's my second favorite Fruit Nyan behind Melnyan, who we already got. Zelda or Odyssey for Game of the Year, SML? You know, it's a tough choice, but I'm gonna have to say Odyssey. Odyssey is the game that I've wanted for my entire life. Nintendo actually delivered, and uh, I'm super happy. <laughs> How soon before we see a Western Nyambo, asked Banshee. So, I never, I never know. Is I am Banshee, like, actually Banshee? Or are these just completely different people? Because I feel like Banshee not having a Dragon Quest icon really throws me off. So if this is actually Banshee, I don't know, man. It's really messing with me, because you only been having an avatar, and I'm like, where, where's the where's the rocket slime, dude? Where's the slime knight? Something that makes me say, this is Banshee, probably. Or are you, are you just an impostle, imposter? Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Goat says it's actually Banshee? Okay, cool. Good to know. So, uh, honestly, if they give us a Western Yambo, I'll buy it, just to show my support for Wibwob. Like, I don't know. I feel kind of guilty how I play Wibwob so much since it initially launched and I've never supported it at all. But the, the fact of the matter is, unfortunately, I've just never had any reason to. You get awful, awful value for Y money. Uh, so I would never buy Y money. But if they gave us, you know, the Inazuma 11 event with the energy packs, or if they gave us the Nyambo, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Why not buy a pack and support Wibwob? I do support it through a lot of publicity, of course. Demon asks, Leafy doesn't dress up Whisper say Wisu for his ultimate. Yeah, I'm super surprised and very, very happy that they kept that. Dressed up Whisper does say Wisu when he uses his ultimate, which is awesome. Thank you for keeping that NHM. They're probably gonna patch it out, let's be honest. Roll back to when we got the Japanese summoning song in Yokai Watch 2, and level 5 fixed that in a patch, and they didn't fix any of the things that actually needed fixing. <laughs> Throwback to that. Because I think that was really a classic event. No, Alec, as I just said, I've never spent money on Wibwob. I almost did on Puni Puni uh, a couple weeks ago. I said that if they put Fubuki Shiro in the, in the Nyambo coins, I'd buy them. Gravat's thoughts on TMN, TMNT and Injustice 2. It's the hypest thing ever, dude. It's the hypest thing ever. Okay, so you put Michelangelo in Injustice 2. That's hype. Right? That's hype on its own. I'd be like, dude, no way! My favorite Ninja Turtle in uh, Injustice 2? But then you put all four of them in a fighting game fighting as one character and you just call it TMNT? Dude! Ah! And ah, it's like two days after the reveal and I'm still screaming. It's so hype. You have no idea. I love, love, love the original Eastman comics. They are so good. They're so good. If you guys like comic books, and you've never read the original Eastman comics uh, for Ninja Turtles, you owe it to yourself to read them. That's how good they are. That's how incredible the artwork is for them. That is, that is some good artwork. Like, that's... 
I've never seen artwork like that before for comic books. It's one of a kind, very unique. Absolutely, go read them. They've got these nice uh, hardcover compilations published by IDW a few years ago. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. If, if you've watched any of the shows, and you think, oh, I really like Ninja Turtles. Well, this is an entirely different take on it, and it's the original. So definitely go for it. <laughs> oh, gee. Gamer says, might leave the stream because a huge storm is hitting me right now, and the power might go out. Stay safe, gamers. Stay safe. Uh, hope you're all right. And have fun weathering the storm. Haha, <laughs> subscribe for more funny jokes. <laughs> Fennekin says, I'm trying your one-shot kill Gargaros team. I'm not sure if it will work. So, Fennekin, you and I have very different definitions of work. So, my definition of work is you one-shot someone with Gargaros 100% of the time. You, you win maybe 10% of the time. Now, if working is winning, eh... But if working is dealing 800 damage to their Walden, this team works, let me tell ya. <laughs> one, one, hot, one shot Gagaros team, dude. It's the best. One shot Pandanoko, though. That's where it's at. I love 101 Leafy's funny jokes, says Jody. Totally not astroturfing, guys. I don't know any YouTubers that do that. Haha. <laughs> not... A reference to anyone in particular. How do I build one-shot Gargaros? That's Lord Blaze. Uh, I did a stream on it. So, check that if you want the deets. That, I think that's what the cool kids say for details nowadays, because extra syllables are kind of out of style. Uh, but from what I remember, it's like double Burly, double Mermother Souls on the Burly. Uh, and then Cursed Blade on the Gargaros. And then, uh, Donshan set to, uh, Devoted, as well as the Burly. Donshan gets a Speed Soul. So he Inspirits ASAP. Burly is also going to Inspirit before Gargaros because he's faster. The Gargaros gets the double Inspirit. And he, he legit deals, like, 999 damage, honestly. It's insane. For me, it's when he says Fedekin. Well... I'd rather have a godly winning team, aka Slime Amanda with 5 real light. Oh man, Fennekin, you would love my uh, team that I made in Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls, where I did uh, Shurakoma with 5 ray of light. <laughs> or no, it was 4 ray of light and, and a uh, Endurifit. It was so funny. People would be like, oh, you're using Shurakoma? You're not going to do anything to me. And then you'd, you'd one-shot them. And then you'd one-shot them again, and then your Endurifit would go down, and then... Yoshiro Koma would get one shot because that's what that's what happens to him. It was pretty fun though. It was kind of wacky. It was a pretty crazy escapade. Cool Dad Leafy is a strange concept, says Jody. I don't really know where you got that, but uh, yeah, I don't want kids. Take take kids away from me. I don't want them. They're weird. I used to be a kid, and I can safely say, no, absolutely not. If I if I have to live through being my my own father, that would be just awful. I feel really sorry for my parents. Mm, okay, cool. <sighs> Though I will say, having the idea, uh, the idea of like, uh, a noble continuation of my lineage, of my bloodline, is kind of cool. <laughs> you think you want Enma to be in the game, Leafy asked Cagney. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? He's one of my favorites. And he's really good. Uh, except like the base Enma is only okay, but he's not awful. What yokai would you want at your house, asked Alec. Uh, Blaze Dion. So that I'm always motivated, even when I get home. So that way I, I'm always getting good work done. You know, all, I wouldn't say that I'm lazy. I work as hard as I can when I can. I'm, I'm usually quite busy doing things. 
I, I can't remember the last time I had a day where I'm like, gee, I have nothing to do right now. So I certainly wouldn't say that I'm lazy. Okay, I think we just fed them is what we were doing. Honestly, I was looking at the chat while I was doing that, so who knows what I was just doing, to be quite honest. Is Dressed Up Whisper better than Robo Neon 3000? That's Colin. Heck no. No way. No, that's a funny joke. That's that's really quality humor right there, Colin. Uh, no, absolutely not. I do not like Dressed Up Whisper. I think Robo Neon 3000 is much better. Leagues better. Now, is Dressed Up Whisper a decent yokai? For sure. For sure. He is incredibly solid addition to Slippery, and he will do you a lot of good on uh, impossible stages where you have to use Slippery. But are there much better yokai out there? Absolutely. Dogen King M, Robo Neon 3000, Captain Thunder M, Hino's All Awoken. Well, I guess not Captain Thunder M, because he only has 753 attack, huh? Uh... So Dressed Up Whisper is still better than Mega Captain Thunder, I guess. But he knows all Awoken, yeah, definitely better than uh, Dressed Up Whisper, that's for sure. Slurp. Blaze. Even like, you know, Hanzo. I guess he won't be quite as powerful, but he'll have better unity. Yeah, Sponsor Felt Manor, Robo Neon 3000 really is that good. He is one of the best yokai in the game. He's insanely powerful. Gamers ask Sleepy, do you think we can get Usapion in the next event? Yeah, I think it's always possible for us to get Usapion, considering he just has to be slapped in the crank Akai. So, uh, whenever NHN feels like doing that, hey, we, we can get Usapion. I know NHN wants to put Usapion in the game by the end of the year. I know that for sure. I mean, their plans could have changed since last year, but they seem to have everything figured out, so... If everything goes according to plan, we will get Usapion soon-ish. Just a matter of when exactly. And also, Usapion is god-awful. You don't want him. He does nothing. He has like 300 attack, he's a line popper. Why? Leafy, we need an Usapion SS, says Kagi. We, we have three of them. We have Pink Emperor, Captain Thunder M, and Captain Thunder. And two out of three of those are incredible. <laughs> we don't need another SS Usapion. <gasps> hey, we capped out Hino's all. Bum bum bum. Yep. That's my exact list, Goat. My exact list. You just put it a lot more eloquently than I did. Goat says, I would rank the single attackers 1. Shogun King M, hands down, of course. 2. Hino's All Awoken. 3. Robinion 3000. And 4. Dressed Up Whisper. Yeah, that's my ranking exactly. Good list, Goat. And then 4. Uh, Mega Captain Thunder. It's just that Hino's All is objectively better than him, except in score attack. <sighs> Well, you forgot about uh, Mega Melanion, Goat. I think we all did. Mega Melanion with 840 attack is really good. I definitely put Mega Melanion above Dressed Up Whisper. We're gonna throw a uh, Pink Emperor up there. Maybe, eh. How many Soul Secrets do we have? We got a few. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to Soul Secret him to like four. Just because we'll need to max him out eventually if we get Keto Coma. We might as well. Eh, 
I'll bring him to three. Jody asks, hey guys, is it weird that my eyes are like completely dry? Not at all, Jody. Uh, allergens are really high lately. Uh, ragweed. So, that's probably it. My eyes get really freakier around this time, too. Yeah, it's weird how, uh, Pink Emperor has that, uh, alu sound. That's really weird. That makes me uncomfortable, honestly. This finder asks, Leafy, am I I'm getting Yo-Kai Watch 3 for Christmas. Have any tips? Uh, no, I've never played it. So, sorry, I don't. Pick a god and pray, because you can't soft reset dailies. <laughs> it saves whenever you challenge them, so, uh, it really is one per day. So you could lit literally go an entire month without getting last Bushinyan. An entire real-life month. So, have fun. Aha. Frago asks, Sleepy, any tips for getting Serpent? Because I'm trying to get Apak and Confused, and I'm pretty stuck on both of them. Uh, no, not really. I mean, do... Get any of the combo challenge done, so that you can get Apak through his challenge, uh, quest? Because that's the only way to do it, the mission. Uh, all you have to do is have a bit of Y money for Continues, and it's pretty easy to do. And then for Confused, you just keep soft resetting on, uh, on his stage. You might be a little more common in the Whisper Slingshot. You could try that. The, the, the Ultra Map. Hey, what did I say? Well, Super Map. I got it mixed up. The Goat said, Confuse uh, shows up fairly often as a rare appearance on the second event map. Stage 22 is a good one. There you go. Agni says, if we had Giga Noko, that would be awesome. Well, guess what? We are getting Giga Noko. Well, Extreme Noko, which is basically Giga Noko, because you didn't really say what that that entails. <laughs> he's an SSS ranked Noko. Nobody knows what he does. We just know that we're getting him, because he's in the teaser. I hope he's good. I hope he's a Y Money and Score Booster at the same time. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, you know why my fever gauge was always so low before? Because I never tried to get Kinozal's ultimate up. So I only got the fever from linking up four size 13s. That's why my fever gauge was always so low. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. Careful, Leafy. Don't kill the puppies! Uh... Puppies... Will obviously kill me though. Ah, dang it! I messed up. Oh, what am I doing? I thought I got into fever time. Ah. Oh, I hate myself. Uh. Oh my god. Oof. Oof. Right there. That's oof. I done goofed. Oh my god, that was awful. It's so hard not to kill these stupid things. Colin says, Leafy, rate my team for Y money farming. Robin on 3k, Slurpin, Arachnel will zero and unpleasant. Fantastic, actually. I don't see any issues. Maybe get a better attack upper. That's about it. Let's well, Angry Bananas. Welcome. It's great to see you. He says, I'm here to learn how to make money. I actually titled it like that. Specifically because I was hoping you'd see it. So this is how I make money. You go to a three target stage. I have tribe advantage. Slippery gets 15% more damage against Charming. Uh, so more damage means more money, of course. You can use... You want to use Slurpent, an all-attacker, 
two attack uppers and a score upper, or two score uppers and an attack upper. It doesn't really matter. Uh, right now, I'm trying to level my attack upper up. I'm trying to level up uh, Pink Emperor. I'm currently going with two attack uppers. And then first, you want to get up all of your soul smiths without killing any of your three targets. So make sure that you're on uh, a stage with decent difficulty, such that you don't kill your opponents. But it shouldn't be a crazy high difficulty so that you, like, die before you actually get all your soul smiths up and enter fever time. Now note that you want to get as close to fever time as possible without actually entering it when you're uh, charging up all of your soul smiths like this. And you'll see why. So we hook these up, yes, yes, okay. We're getting a nice big pink emperor up here. Once you get a size 13 wibwob, you know that's going to immediately fill their soul meter. Now note how I switched targets here. That's because, uh, like I said before, you don't want to kill any of your three targets. Because... Every, uh, every target multiplies your base damage. So if you have one target, then your all attacker deals 100% of their damage. If you have two targets, your all attacker is going to deal 200% of their damage. And if you have three targets in Fever Time, well, you're dealing 300% of your original damage. And doing three runs at once is pretty awesome. If you don't have an all attacker, then a super strong single attacker, it's not going to do you as well, but, uh, do your job as well. But it'll still get you a decent amount of cash. So if you've got, you know, uh, Dressed Up Whisper, you can use him. Then you want to link these dudes up, enter fever time, and you just want to spam Slurpent. Oh man, I forgot that I have two attack uppers. So you want to use both your attack uppers before using your attack ultimates, of course. How do you get Sandsuit in Yoko Watch 2 as best vendor? Uh, you need to play the lottery. It's really stupid. It's gonna take you hours, trust me. <laughs> Jody says, streams always go by super quickly. Rest in peace. Don't worry, I saw your comment earlier, Jody, so I'm trying to stream. Oh my god! Oh, never mind. I thought I accidentally locked my tablet, but I actually just press the power button. Everything's fine. <sighs> what if the rest of my life is just me watching Leafy streams as Sunset Bow? Well, it could be. There's a lot of Leafy stream content for you to leaf through at this point. And bam, we got like 2,000 Y money. <gasps> Can we get him to level 10? Yes! Nice, Lou. Let's increase the level cap there. Almost at 100k death madness, that's true. Yeah, V-Champ, I hate the lottery. I never evolved Hanako-san because of that, but guess what? You can pull Notorino Hanako out of purple coins. So I scanned a bunch of, like, peck pocket, and bam, out she popped, like 50 coins later. That sponsor felt manner, the Mega Yokai should be the Money Yokai, honestly. We need Mega Pandanoko, only available to people that pay $10,000. He just triples your Y money. That would honestly be worth it, not gonna lie. Uh, I'd totally buy that. that. See, it's funny because I'm implying I have $10,000. <laughs> so yeah, sponsor Angry Bananas. Hope that I helped you out there a bit. Uh, I'll take a look at your your team, because I know you sent me the yokai you have, and I'll let you know uh, what team you should be using. Alright, I feel like I already told you, right? Uh, I'll have to check our DMs. I, I feel like I did a couple days ago when you asked. Uh, I think that your best bet might be Melanion M, because he's a really powerful single attacker.
he's gonna get you a lot of money for sure. Especially if you couple him with uh, Mad Mountain and Lava Lord as your attack uppers. They're really good. Because you get that unity. I will never get over that weird Alu sound for Pink Emperor. But I know his sound in Puni Puni is weird too. Uh, ooh, congratulations, Mark Purdue. Great to see you again on getting Komashuda. That's fantastic, because he's fantastic. But fun fact, Swalteria is better than Komashuda at this point, because uh, Pink Emperor, this guy here, gets unity with him. Though, now that we have Mega Melanion, I guess it goes back in uh, Komashuda's favor, doesn't it? Sunset Bow, I never knew you were in Ireland. I knew that you were somewhere exotic. Sunset Bow says, Ireland needs to set itself on fire. I feel like we're going to get flagged by YouTube for me reading that comment. <laughs> because it's so cold, says Sunset Bow. <laughs> That's not a threat. Sunset Bow is just cold. Welcome, Nintendo Madness. No, be no need to be sorry about being late. It happens, dude. I understand. That's why the VODs are always available. The video's on demand. You can watch whenever you want, wherever you want, with... Direct TV on demand YouTube bread buy it now 15 million dollars a month link in the description It's pretty good What can I do to make grinding less boring Asked Kirby superstar see now that's a funny joke Because you're implying you can make grinding less boring somehow grinding is the most mind-numbing boring experience ever I've played massive faces stage thousands upon thousands of time uh, in the past year and a half that's not even jo a joke. I started doing Massive Pace in May 2016. Welcome! I don't, I don't think I want to read that. I feel violated just reading that with my eyes. I'm not going to say that out loud. No. Welcome! But also, no. <laughs> You're right, Chuckle King. Pink Emperor is all in, in disguise. Whoa, 79 spirit. Thanks to all of my friends on my friends list sending me spirit. Yeah, Magic, Keita Master, Ace Wiss. They, they reversed the titles. Oh, that's really, that's a really nice comment, Yoshi knows. I can't say... I can't say, you know, I can't say I disagree. You make a very convincing point. But I'm also going to have to ban you. Sponsor Felt Manor asked, Hey Leafy, do you want my friend code? I'm Wibble Wobble. Of course, DM me, uh, Sponsor Felt Manor. I always try and, uh, friend sponsors. Just send me spirit. I need spirit. <laughs> that feeling you never had to play Massive Face, says VChamp. Oh yeah, didn't you get Liberty Neon SS on, like, your first crank, VChamp? Was that you? I'm mad! I'm angry! I'm jealous! Spent like a million Y money without getting him. I'm very sad. I was like, level 5, you guys should give us a tracer. You guys should give us a good pass, Yokai. <laughs> and then I didn't even pull him. <laughs> I'm so mad that that... Oh, God. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> it's so, like... I think humiliating is a bit extreme, but it's it's just the funniest situation ever. I'm so sad. It makes me cry every night. Oh, VTF says I never pulled Liberty Non SS Pass. Then who was that? They got it on like their first try that I know. They're like, oh yeah, I pulled two Liberty Non SS Passes in my first 10 cranks. He's not that rare. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, scream Ness. <sighs> uh, don't die, please don't die. Dramatic action movie or wibble wobble stream? Hang in there.
Oh god. Yeah, Ace, I'll respond to your spirit request later. For sure. After the stream, because the spirit requests are kind of tedious. Fever time, y'all. Oh, did we seriously get Liberty Neon re-released last year during Christmas and New Year Nod? It's always great to see you, by the way. That's uh, that's really smart thinking. Maybe we will get Liberty Neon SS back in the crank. I wouldn't be surprised if we got him and uh, Ketokoma in the crank at the same time. Just because they want to like dilute the odds of us pulling Ketokoma. That, that would be such a, a wibble wobble NHN thing to do. Definitely not a Puni NHN thing to do. They never do that for Puni. That, that's definitely a wibble wobble NHN thing. What area are you in, S. Sponsor Carlos? I am in downtown Springdale. Sage 87. Good night, Protofire. Thanks for coming. There's a ton of SS rank yokai in the Christmas event, Death Madness. Yeah, we're grinding cash. We might crank it tomorrow. We'll see. Might crank it for the the Christmas event. But I have th I have this uh, crank Akai pretty close to maxed out. Uh, so I could get a lot of soul secrets if I cranked it now. We'll do uh, we'll do one crank just to see what happens. Just to end off the stream here with something fun. Some, uh, some crazy wackiness. Some wacky racers. That's a good show. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Ah, uh, are you kidding me, Komain? Why? Why can't I get the stupid B rank? Give him to me. God. You be very good, sir. This is very bad, sir. All right, it's gonna do it for tonight's stream. Thanks everybody for coming out. It's great to see you guys, Kirby Superstar. If the shrine goes dot dot dot, that's the best possible outcome. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with some more Wibwop. Thanks for coming.